Hey girlfriend, what is up? I hope you guys are having a nice day And praise the lord Thank god I finally got back my luggage If you guys saw my Italy vlog You would know that I left my bag Not really, I left my bag My bag got lost in transit in Istanbul so I lost my luggage And I got it the next day Oh my god, thank you If you follow me on Instagram You would know that I've been selling my pre-love stuff online And I'm glad that people are buying Like I only wear my stuff once and I get bored I take a ton of pictures and then I get bored of it and also follow my social media accounts bam 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 and that would really make me really happy and you don't need to spend a dime it is totally free subscribing to my family anyways let's get into the important stuff so for this trip I went to Italy and it's winter there so I didn't buy much um, clothes except for this sweater I don't think I want to see anything about it it's just a normal sweater it's from H&M since we are on H&M I bought this dinner-ish kind of clutch as well they have this kind of embezzled diamonds on the side yeah they're really pretty I think I need this because I don't really have much um, dinner kind of clutches of course you know a girl likes a YSL sometimes <laughs> but we have no money so we just buy a cheap one from H&M another thing from H&M I got is this choker it's a collab with Nicki Minaj it's super cute I'm surprised to see Nicki Minaj with H&M oh my god just my favorite color and it's very easy to put on. Also, I had to get myself a matching bracelet. It's just like that. It's the same thing. You just like um, buckle it on and ta-da! I'm not gonna wear it together because it's a bit weird. <laughs> Your girl is broke. But I had to stop by Sephora. Duh! So I stepped in Sephora and I wanted to get the Shape Taper Concealer. You know the famous one that everyone's using. But surprisingly, they didn't have Tarte there. Because since I'm on tour, so we don't have a lot of time for shopping. So I just had to grab something. Like, just something. Just give me... So it's very funny. From where I am, we don't have any Huda Beauty in Sephora. That sucks. So I had to splurge and get myself this. It is an eyeshadow palette. And you know when it comes to girls, right? I don't know how many guys are watching this. If you're a guy, thumbs up this video. I love it when a guy watches my haul, which is like... What? You are awesome. So anyways, us girls, we don't really have much eyeshadow palettes because when it comes, it comes in a lot of different colors and it's really hard to finish an eyeshadow palette. Like girls, how many of you girls finish an eyeshadow palette? Like raise your hands, like comment down below, whatever. Let me know. Because I, I find it so hard to finish an eyeshadow palette and that's why I hardly can afford to keep on buying it. So I had to get myself this. It is the Desert Dust palette. Palette. Is it a line on my eyes? I heard about it actually when I was in the store because like I said I was really chasing time I didn't have time to swatch it on my eyes or on my hands so oh my god This is how it looks like it comes with this um foil thing Oh my god the colors are so beautiful It is brand new I have not found the time to use it yet or like to play around with it or touch it I'm just like Ah, oh, so beautiful. How to touch it? How to use it? Ah, the smell of new eyeshadow colors. My only legit eyeshadow palette is the one from Too Faced. It is the semi-sweet chocolate bar. I have a video up here talking about it. But this one, I am going to film a new video of this, trying these new things out. We won't be trying out the colors today. That's because I have something that I want to show you guys. There's one thing really famous in Italy. It's a brand called Kiko. Ta-da! Oh my god, I'm so excited. So I have nothing on my eyes and my lips right now. And Kiko is somewhat like Maybelline in Italy. They are everywhere. They are a drugstore brand. It's really affordable. I bought this two long-lasting stick, 8 hours no transfer eyeshadow. So I bought 07 and 05. They don't have a name for this. <gasps> I just dropped it! Oh my god. <gasps> I hope it didn't break or something. Okay, this is 05. So 05 is a bit bronzy, it's a bit purplish as well, and a bit like blue undertones. Gonna use my Huda Beauty mirror. Uh-uh. Ah, uh, it is so glittery, guys. I love it. Uh, apply and blend. Apply and blend. Okay, let's try 05. I'm just gonna put it on the outer corner of my eyes. This is how it looks like when you apply it. The same thing, I'm gonna try and blend it out with my fingers. Oh, beautiful sparkle. Wow, 
It looks so natural. Look at that. It just blends off the harsh line straight away. It's a bit glossy kind of look. And it's very creamy. Wow, pretty. Mmm, nice. So like you guys can see from far, it's very natural. It has a very nice shine. And I think this is a good look for daytime or nighttime. It just... Mm, so pretty. So I'm going to try and apply it underneath my eyeline. Ta-da! See, it's really natural. And I am liking the color. Wow. Oh, nice. Lasting Precision Automatic Eyeliner and Coat. So this is one of their famous products. It is the lightest color. It is 01. Oh my god, look at that. It's so pigmented and it's so glowing. It's such a nice color. Wow, it just makes your eyes... Oh my god, my dark circle is really bad right now. Okay, so moving on from Kiko, I went to the MAC outlet and I bought myself a new MAC lipstick. This is actually my first MAC lipstick and it is in the colour Du Bonnet and it is just this nice burgundy colour. I think there's a bit of a blue undertone to it. I can't remember the price of this but since it is from outlet, so it is 30% cheaper. So nowadays, I like to do like an ombre, like I don't like to do like a whole lip nowadays. Let's see how it goes. I really like the effect of just dabbing it. It just gives you that kind of like lip stain, kind of like healthy look on your lips. Like this color is so pretty. It's not like vampy red, it's not like chili red. It's just like that soft red with a bit of like morphe pink. It just looks so harmonious with the skin. As you can see from far out, so I really like it when it's just like that. But since we are here, I might as well try a full lip for you guys. Now usually, I wouldn't dare doing a full lip without a lip liner and I think everyone should do a red full lip with lip liner but I did it just like that and this is how it looks like. I think it looks really pretty as well. I definitely recommend this colour but not with this bow tie. It just looks a bit weird, just like too much things going on there. The formula is creamy, it is not matte matte drying and I definitely can see myself wearing this on a daily basis. And yeah, so moving on in Italy, there's a lot of like glass stuff, especially when I was in Venice. So in Venice, I definitely bought myself a lot of glass kind of souvenirs and these are all made of all those tiny beads glass, which I can't remember what is it called. These are little little pendants and I think they are so cute. Every one of them is very different. You can actually see that it is semi-transparent and there's light coming in even from the smaller ones as well oh my god it is so beautiful so pretty I love it so much because we don't have this kind of things here it's just so cute I love it so much and they weren't that expensive like the smaller ones are around six euros I really like it I just bought a few for giving it away from the same shop I bought this uh, plate as well it's made of glass it is just a small plate to put your accessories or your earrings on and it just and I think it's just super cute it is just the moon and the stars and I think this is from the same beads as well the same kind of beads you just need to melt it all together this one was definitely more pricey um, but I think it's worth it as well and another thing that I bought which is like what the fuck did I buy that is this a uh, fish in a glass ice cube thing. The shape is exactly like a uh, ice cube and it's not cheap. Like why? It's just glass and like a fish inside. I don't even know the fish is made out of real glass or not. It could be plastic and I'm just gonna put it somewhere. <laughs> I didn't buy anything from Pandora so like everywhere I travel I like to collect something from Pandora but this time in the same shop there's this charm I guess. So yeah it's the same thing. It's the same thing as the pendant but this one is just like in a bracelet form and I think it's really cute. I remembered it wasn't cheap but it's worth it, so just buy it. Don't, I'm not a big fan of Hard Rock Cafe and I don't even know why I bought this. But it's actually their 8th anniversary pin and you can see like just a girl here with a guitar and the Hard Rock icon. Do you guys collect pins or do you guys collect stuff from Hard Rock Cafes? Like a lot of people collect the shot glasses and a lot of people collect their t-shirts as well. So anyways, I bought myself this pin just cause like maybe peer pressure, everyone's buying something, I felt like I need to. Okay. 
Okay, moving on finally to food, which is my favorite part. Italian food. I wish I could bring the pizza, the spaghetti, risotto back, but I couldn't. Which is sad because I really like the food there, especially the pizzas. Oh my lord. This pizza from Spontini. If you are in Italy or I don't know where the hell they have Spontini, you just need to go and try Spontini pizza because this one, the one that I had was just cheese and tomato and it is the bomb. Like I like my pizzas like that, like fat and like juicy and like oh my god. Thinking about it right now, just like oh, I miss it so much. So I bought some pastas. Ta -da! And he has like a little roller here and each packet is different. There's like a fork, there's like a spatula and this one's a roller. I just think it's so cute. I don't know, have you guys tried this brand before because I bought more stuff from them? This is risotto al, al italiano. And they look something like that. There's like the herbs and cucumber inside. Open up a bottle of white wine. Yeah, there you go, Italian risotto. Uh, there's this truffle sauce, really stinked up my bag. Oh, it's so good though. And this one is truffle salt, as if like I have not have enough truffle stuff yet. So you can see all those like little bits of like black stuff. I think those are the truffles. You know, I'm pretty sure they have this here as well. It's just I never opened my eyes to look. This one instantly remind me. If you watch Bear Bears, you would know what Charlie likes to eat. I think they are like cheese balls. I don't know. It just says like August Pizza. So maybe it's pizza ball. This one is Nacho Gusto Treme. Nachos, I guess? I don't know, there's a bird here. Senza olio di palma. Like, what the hell is this? Nothing English here. Even the ingredients, it just say ingredienti. And everything else is in Italian. This one is più gusto, più. Sit with anger, più gusto. This is good, Dad. you must trust me. I don't know, lime and pepper, I guess. Godiva milk chocolate. I really want the dark one, but someone in front of me decided to buy the whole thing. Like, she didn't even leave one for me. She bought the whole thing. This auntie from Singapore. I am looking at you. You didn't, you, you didn't bother. You took the whole 20 boxes of of dark chocolate Godiva which I like and thank you very much so that's about it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul that I did in Italy and yeah I didn't buy a lot of things so I just talked a lot that's why this video is so long and yeah if you guys actually watched it until here like this part I am so amazed and really thank you so much thank you for supporting me throughout the whole year and if you guys watch it through this long like how I like do my stuff comment down below this that pizza is delicious <laughs> And I would know you are those ones who watch until the end. And I thank you so much for doing that. And I hope to see you guys real soon. Happy New Year. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>